everybody, my name is Eric Hopkins and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're finding me for the very first time, please click that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all the notifications about when I put up new content here on my channel. So this is basically going to be a video on two separate stories here that I'm going to combine into one video where we're possibly going to be seeing two returning characters to the Star Wars world here. So let's go check out the article over here, uh, articles from the StarWarsNewsNet.com. And the first one is... Uh, Forrest Whitaker to reprise his role of Saul Guerrero from Rogue One. We now know that Forrest Whitaker is among the many Rogue One alumni who are set to appear in the new Andor series coming to Disney Plus in 2022. As many of his, as one of his many cast members of the Disney Plus series has let it slip that he'll be involved. Stellan Skarsgård, who is going to be appearing in the Andor show, spilled the beans on Whitaker's involvement in the Andor series while speaking on. Sphereges Radio, I probably screwed that up, so forgive me, about that show and the future roles that he's involved with. A translator in that thread stated that Skarsgård has had one scene per episode on average and has at least two important scenes with Whitaker, but he spends most of his scenes with Diego Luna, the actor who plays Cassian Andor. It has about one scene per episode on average. This is the first that Whitaker's involvement in the series has been mentioned, and given that the series is a prequel to Rogue One, a Star Wars story, more can be expected. So far, the other members of the show's cast include the likes of Robert Ems, Adria Arjona, Fiona Shaw, Denise Goff, Kyle Soler, and Genevieve O'Reilly as Mon Mothma, who's, who was returning from uh, Rogue One and the deleted scenes of Revenge of the Sith, I might add. Uh, the show will be a set will be set a few years before the fateful mission that leads to the su successful theft of the Death Star plans, which subsequently leads to the destruction of the Death Star and a major blow to the Galactic Empire. First created by George Lucas as a character for the unmade Star Wars Underworld live-action television series, which never saw the light of day, Saul Guerrero was conceived as a morally gray rebel extremist modeled after real-world revolutionaries like Che Guevara, Rather than the traditional type of hero that you would see in a Star Wars story, while that series never saw the light of day, Lucas tasked Dave Filoni with helping him craft a backstory for the character, which revealed that Anakin Skywalker, the future Sith Lord Darth Vader, would ironically help plant the seeds of rebellion as he taught Guerrera the skills necessary to liberate Andron in the Clone Wars series. He was first voiced by Andrew Cashino in that series, who recently reprised his role for a cameo in Star Wars The Bad Batch. He was in one of the earlier episodes. Forrest Whitaker brought the character to life in live action in Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, and he's portrayed Saw in Star Wars Rebels and Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So, it makes sense, based on the timeline, to bring Saw Guerrero back into this story, be it is set before Rogue One and the original trilogy. So, that, that makes a lot of sense. So, it sounds like that's definitely happening. Happening. The next one seems to be a little bit of a rumor, but let's go check it out, too. Also from Star Wars not, dot net, or StarWarsNet.com. Uh, it is the rumor that Ben Mendelsohn, uh, Talos himself, the scroll from Captain Marvel, and the actor who portrayed Orson Krennic in Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, could possibly be appearing in Andor as well. Uh, Andor needs an antagonist. And if the rumors are true, well, you have to start somewhere, and that somewhere may just be with Ben Mendelsohn as his Rogue One character, director Orson Krennic. According to sources tied to the direct.com, which is rather reliable most times, we will be seeing the return of Orson Krennic, the main villain of Rogue One, at some point in the first season. The size of his role will be remains unclear at this time, but it can be assumed that his presence will likely be felt throughout the series in order to give more weight to the end of that particular narrative. Krennic's role in Rogue One is to oversee development of the Death Star, which becomes fully operational pretty early on into the film. Since this series is set before then, it can be presumed that Krennic's activities may be tied to other Imperial operations. Word of Mendelssohn's involvement in Andor hit the airways very shortly after we got an official confirmation for Forrest Whitaker uh, for one of the stars of the show. However, we should stress that this should be treated as a rumor for the time being in regards to Krennic. There have been little there has been a little bit of info to support such an appearance, however. Not that long ago, some leaked set photos show Imperial officers wearing uniforms similar in design to the one that Krennic wears at the beginning of the film, along with later in the movie as he wears the same look, but with a cape. Middleson's involvement wouldn't exactly be surprising as he's officially been confirmed to play a major part in the Marvel Cinematic Universe Disney Plus show 
Secret Invasion, as I've done videos about that as well. It remains to be seen if other Rogue One characters will factor into the series, but we do know there's a plan for Alan Tudyk's K2SO to appear at some point after the first season. In any case, it seems like there are definitely plans for the show past the first 12 episodes that have already been ordered, so even if the most uh, most of the cast doesn't show up in Season 1, there may be time for that to happen down the road. So yeah, I mean, it would make sense for some of the Rogue One cast to definitely make appearances here, considering... Cassian Andor himself is, uh, you know, a big part of that that Rogue One film, and of course, you know, K two S O. We there was a comic book that kind of told us how K two S O came uh, to know Cassian, but uh, I would like to see that on film. And they've already said K two S O is not going to be in the first season, but he'll probably show up later. So that I'm looking forward to as well, because I thought that droid was great, and I hated that they got that basically everybody in Rogue One died. I mean, <laughs> it just kind of sucked. Um, but they've, they've kind of tried to expand some of the characters in other mediums, such as books and comics and things like that. And of course, now looks like Andor is going to be expanding some of those characters as well. Saw Gerrera has a long history in Star Wars already. They took a character from the Clone Wars animated series and they expanded it, and and I think. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure the animated character came before the Rogue One version with Forrest Whitaker, but they've expanded it even more with Rebels and the Bad Batch, and you know he's been in books and things like that. And now Orson Krennic, who's also, I believe, been mentioned in Star Wars Rebels, if I remember correctly. Um, so that yeah, at least this now it looks like we're going to get to see him again. Maybe that part's more rumor. Whitaker seems to be more confirmed at this point, but I think it would be great to have both of them in the series because just because Krennic was involved with the making of the Death Star doesn't mean he can't have other operations, as this article mentioned, in regards to the Empire. He's obviously been butting heads with Tarkin during this time period and things like that, so it could still be interesting to see possibly Andor having to use his spy skills to maybe you know spy on uh, Ben Mendelsohn's character, Krennic, here in this series, so that could be a lot of fun. But the real question here is, guys, what do you guys think about this news of uh, Forrest Whitaker returning as Saul Guerrero in the Cassian Andor series Andor on Disney Plus in 2022? And what do you think about the rumor of Ben Mendelsohn returning as Orson Krennic? Do you believe it or do you think it's just a, you know, it, it, it's a big nothing burger, so to speak? Comment down below. Let me know. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all the notifications about when I put up new content here on this channel. And until my next video, guys, take care.